This movie is about Excel's sorting functionality. We're going to begin by looking at the sort order that's applied by Excel when you have data in a column that isn't all of the same type. And then we're going to take a look at sorting on one column, and then we're going to sort on multiple columns. And then we'll find that we have a quick way to sort on one column where we have the ability to do one-click sorting. And then we can apply this technique to ultimately end up sorting on multiple columns. So I've got a worksheet set up with a couple of different areas to take a look at the sorting functionality. Beginning in the first area, sorting one, where I have three columns beginning with the original order of the data, the data itself, which includes blank cells, and then the type of data it is, which is one of four types. Above that, I have the order in which Excel will sort this data in column C, beginning with numbers, then text, then logical, and then blank cells. So how do we do this? Well, the sort functionality is located in three different places. You can get to it either on the Home tab, where we can sort A to Z, Z to A. We can get the custom sort dialog box, which looks like that. I'm going to cancel that. We can also find this functionality on the Data tab, where again, in the Sort and Filter group, we can sort from A to Z, from Z to A, and left click to get the Sort dialog box. Canceling out of that one more time. We can also right click and get the shortcut menu, where we have the option to sort from A to Z, from Z to A, and there are three other options that we'll cover in a subsequent movie. And again, we get the custom sort choice to get the sort dialog box. So there's a checkbox that's checked by default that says my data has headers. And in fact, my data does have headers. And even though we pulled up the shortcut menu with only D13 being the active cell, after selecting the sort functionality, Excel assumes, one, that my data has headers, and two, it has selected the current region, which is the data that I want to deal with here. So how do I set up a sort? The first field is sort by. I can drop down, and because my data has headers, Excel provides me a list of those headers, the original order, the data, and the data type. And I want to sort by data. I'm going to leave the second option as is, values, the other options we'll cover later on. And I want to sort from smallest to largest. And again, I can go from largest to smallest. And the custom list we'll cover again later on. So those are my selections. But before I left click OK, I want to point out that in column C, in cells 26, 27, and 28, I have the number 19. So I not only have several different data types in column C, but I also have some of those data points being duplicated. Left-clicking OK, Excel has sorted my data beginning with the numbers, and we still see in cells 15, 16, and 17 that 19 is still sequenced in order because the original order was 17, 18, and 19. So where there is a tie, Excel maintains the original order of the data. Going down from the numbers, it sorted the text, and then the logical values, and then the blank cells. By the way, adding a column, like in column B, we have the original order of the data, can be very useful so that at some point in time, if you need to reestablish the original sequence of the data, I can easily do that by right-clicking, getting the sort dialog box, selecting original order, left-clicking OK, and I've reestablished the original sequence of my data. Going to the second block of data, which is a list of some statistics for the stocks that are traded on the NASDAQ exchange by industry, we can sort on multiple fields. We have the ability to establish up to 64 different sort levels in Excel 2010. I'm going to left-click to get the sort dialog box, and again, the default has the checkbox, my data has headers, and in fact it does. And Excel has selected the current region, which is the region where my data resides. So I want to establish two different sort levels. And you can establish up to 64 different sort levels. Why you'd ever need to do that, I'm not sure, but you can. 
left clicking the drop down I can add first one level of sorting left click add a level and then I can add another level and like I said you can add up to 64 different levels left clicking OK I have my data resequenced in the way that I directed for Excel to do it we can also since Excel is very good at figuring out where your data is and what region your data resides in do some one-click sorting but when we do this we need to make sure that one we don't have any hidden rows or columns because the data that's in hidden rows and columns won't be resequenced in the sort and two that we have a contiguous data list which is what we have we don't have any blank columns in between any data that we want to include in the sort so I can select a field and you need to select a cell that's in the data as opposed to the column label in this case expected growth and from here I can either sort in ascending order or descending order with one click I'm going to sort it in smallest to largest one click and Excel sorts all of the data and I can of course do that in any field left click payout let's do it in descending order so that's one click sorting on one field there's also a way to apply the same technique this one click sorting on multiple fields now because Excel applies the rule that when there's a tie that the original order is maintained when we use one click sorting to sort multiple fields we want to do it in the reverse order of the levels that we would establish if we were using the sort dialog box so if I want to sort by net margin and then expected growth I'll first sort by expected growth left click and then by net margin and in every case that net margin has a tie the sequence established by the expected growth sort that we just did will be retained left clicking so I've got a net margin of 0.376 for air transport furniture home furnishings and if I look over an expected growth I see that sequenced from smallest to largest 0.1576 and 0.2162 so that's an introduction to sorting we took a look at the sort order that Excel will apply if there's multiple data types in a single column and we used the sort dialog box to set up a one level sort and we also use the sort dialog box to sort on multiple levels and multiple columns at the same time and then we took a look at some functionality where we could apply a sort by just clicking the AZ button or the ZA button would do the same thing and if we ultimately want to end up with a sort in multiple fields we have to start with the last sort that would be listed on the levels that we would establish in the sort dialog box and work our way back up because Excel will retain the original sort order for data points that are the same in the column.